So we meet again, this time for our week three supplemental video. On the left, we have the pseudocode from the week three pseudocode video. And on the right, we have Scratch with a open uh, empty program here. So we're going to recreate this program. We're gonna recreate the pseudocode program in Scratch. So first we need to create some variables. Um, these are very much like what we did last time, last week. How many numbers? Oops. Total. So we know we're going to need one for count. And we know we're going to need one for number to add. Well, so let's just get them all set up at once. All right. So we've defined them. All right, let's start with our green flag event here. And the first thing that we want to do is let's set total to zero. Why don't we? We did that at the end of our last video, and I think it's important that we do that. All right. Uh, hopefully you're getting a little bit of a hang of this with our ask. from answer. So far so good. Now this time rather than using the repeat until loop which was down here and right here instead of using this one which is kind of a little bit like a while loop we're instead going to use this repeat loop. The difference here is is that rather than taking a logical expression it's just going to take a number either a literal number or a variable number. For us, this is really quite simple. It's going to repeat as many times as how many numbers is. So we'll drag how many numbers in there, and it's going to repeat. So if I say five, when I answer the question, how many numbers do you want to add? It's going to repeat five times. This is a scenario where the for loop, or in this case, repeat how many times, is the best scenario. Typically, we'll use a while loop, or the repeat and tell in Scratch, only when the number could be, we don't know how many times it's going to happen. We don't know if something within the loop would change uh, how many times. We'll be doing an exam example of this in week five where we load a file. We want our program to not have to know ahead of time how many records there are in the file, but be able to use a function that tells us when we've reached the end of the file as a part of our logical expression to decide when we're done. So. More to come on that, but this is a great example of where this works really well. All right, let's now, inside of our loop, we're going to ask the question, enter a number to add. And, whoops, we're going to set number to add from answer. Then, you're going to accumulate total. So we do that with a set here. Set total equals, we're going to use an operator with a plus. And we're going to say, drag total over here, plus one, plus number to add. I think I did that wrong last week. So total equals total plus one. Hope that makes sense. That will give us our series of accumulating the value of total. Now, let's display the answer. So, just like last time, because we're going to have a literal part and a variable part, we need to use the join. Not random number, that would make it interesting, though, wouldn't it? Literal part of this is the total of the numbers is, and I will put a space after it. We'll grab total here. Okay. Now, we're adding another um, structure here, which is a logical structure or a decision structure. And so under control, we're going to use, so notice we've got an if then, and we've got an if then else. And in this case, we're using if then else. So I'm going to drag 
if then else over here and we have to put a logical expression in here now notice this one that's got the whatever that is parallelogram or whatever that tells us that it's a logical expression so what do we want it to be well look here if total is less than 100 then so we want to go we can do the same thing by dragging this logical expression we want to put total in here and in this case, a literal of 100. So if total is less than 100, then we're going to do what's in this section. Else, meaning total is not less than 100, we're going to do this section here. So in this section, we're going to display our number is pretty low. And in this section, we're going to display your number is pretty high. All right, so that really constitutes all of our program here. We've got all the elements in this scratch program that we had in our pseudocode program. So let's run it and see what happens. See if we got it right. How many numbers do we want to add? Four, 10, 20, 30, 40. So one thing you might notice here is, so it came to 100. Um, that's why it displayed your number is pretty high, because it's not less than 100. It's equal to 100, so it falls into here. But the other thing I wanted to note is that our say here, boy, we didn't even see this. It went too fast. So let's put instead this say, and we can say, say it for five seconds. And now we're going to drag this little green guy over there and drag. Notice how it's wanting to cling to that. We'll move this down a little bit, drag this one out, and it'll disappear. All right, so that gives us a little more time there. So let's try it again. How many do we want to add? 10, 20, 30, 40. The total of the numbers is 100. You can do that for five seconds. Your number is pretty high. So voila, that takes care of our program. I hope this again will help you to be able to learn the concepts that we're teaching in week three.